Today, Dutch and U.S. officials offered new details of their apparent dispute over why body scans weren't already being used in the Netherlands. The Dutch Minister of Justice blamed the U.S., saying the United States didn't accept body scanners as a primary screening resource until now and also wanted to have a metal detector used. U.S. Homeland Security countered by saying the Dutch don't need the United States' permission to use better security, such as body scanners. We obviously support advanced imaging technology as we use it here. You know, step inside the machine. Today, officials at Reagan National showed how 40 body scanners now in use at 19 airports can detect objects like a cell phone. There are plans to quickly deploy 150 more machines with 300 more on the way. Some say the scanners are an invasion of privacy, but they're more effective than pat-downs or metal detectors. Explicit images are made of people who've done nothing wrong, but the images aren't stored, faces are blurred, and the image reviewers don't see the actual passengers. There's radiation exposure, but the exposure is tiny, equivalent to flying in a plane for two minutes. It wouldn't bother me at all, as long as I'm safe getting on that airplane and getting off. Since even body scans won't catch every security risk, there's pressure to do more. Some say political correctness should be abandoned in favor of profiling passengers based on factors such as behavior, profession, and age, like authorities do in Israel. You have to put people in, uh, in uh, the right boxes, if I may say so, in order to uh, have the right conclusion. One controversy with the body scans is that passengers in the U.S. and the Netherlands can opt out and instead get a pat-down, which is widely considered less effective. In other words, a terrorist can actually defeat the body scan by simply choosing a full pat-down instead. And officials differ, Harry, on how much a pat-down can catch. Cheryl Atkinson at Reagan National tonight. Thanks.